let's jump into it. It's Jumpstart. Once again, uh, this was definitely a surprise to me, but people seem to really like that splort clip of Jumpstart. So um, Barrels of Fun and Elizarin got together a pack of all the other Jumpstart games. That's what this is. <laughs> so we're going to check out Jumpstart video games. I believe I played Jumpstart first grade, correct, chat members? Or... Yeah, it was first grade. So we'll, we'll we'll go back. You know what? We'll start with second grade. We'll go backwards a little bit. And then um, we'll see what it's like to learn as Babby. So today is all about education. So why does that keep happening? I don't think this is... I don't think this is correct. Now it's okay. I didn't notice you there. You look familiar. Uh, but then again, maybe you don't. Can't tell anymore, you know? My eyes aren't what they used to be. But you're just in time. The mail truck is on its way. Gorn? If you're new, just type your name on this card and I'll get you all signed up for the Jumpstart Pen Pal Club. You'll get mail from all over the United States. <laughs> Uh, rots and cans of Gorn. Oh my god. I So I didn't grow up with these. So, you know, people have a lot of nostalgia for this shit. I have zero. So I'm approaching this from a purely objective standpoint. Um, however, I am something of a genius compared to most second graders. So I think maybe this game will be kind of bad, be easy for me. Psst, follow me. There's an adventure underfoot. Whoa, whoa. Let's just I wait a sec while all that funny stuff gets ready. Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> okay, Edison, you can come too. I don't think that these DOS games will be timed correctly. I don't get any respect around here. Is that like a social commentary? Come on, we don't have all day. Bet you'd never guess there was an elevator back here. An adventurer needs to be prepared for everything. <clears throat> Will that be sporting goods, home appliances, or furniture? Bone First Vault. Up, the secret clubhouse. Bone Vault. Here we go. No, no, no. Bone Vault. Clubhouse. What the fuck is a Bone Vault? An adventurer is always equipped to So I'm just going to cool click around um, and, the fish and find no cool exception. things to look at the and learn. Fish is very hungry. Can you help feed it? Fish it, really like right It's Finny one. the fish. Odd numbers. I thought that said all odd murders. I was like why is Patrick Star Oh, I have to actually type them. No, do I click them? 77. What the hell? I, Chad, I can't do this. It won't let me. Am I the fish? Yo. Round two. Genius, by the way. No, bro, I can't click them. Numbers less than 14. I'd like to be under the sea 
in the octopus's garden. Octopus's garden in the shade. Arrow keys don't work either. I don't like this. I don't like it either. I can't press anything. It wouldn't let me chat. I tried. The cave. 68 cents. Here's... Twenty-five cents. I told you I'm a genius compared to second graders. Forty-five cents. Fifty-five cents. Sixty. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. <laughs> you did it. You always wear Let's your coin rock. gloves when you do something like this, because you don't want coin gunk on your fingers. Trust me. Took a hike down Rocky Gorge a couple of years ago. I called my name to the canyon walls just to hear my voice echo. But then I heard an answer with such an eerie sound. Oh my so God. I climbed down, down the gully to where it came from down below. I found where the streets have no rocks. names. I called out who's in there. I heard that chilling sound again. Should I go in? I want to learn phonics. This is an old subterranean river. We can explore through these tunnels, but we'll need the gophers to guide us. <laughs> Snarl. It's just shitty Frogger. I'd like to be able to, um, buy a vowel. No, I'd like to be able to actually choose my starting location a little bit more accurately, but... Yo, that was bullshit! I saw those pixels! I don't want to learn this one. This the is... Phonics are stupid. Bone Vault. The Bone Vault. Yeah. Bone! Imagine what mysteries are locked away in the bone vault. Bones, perhaps. <laughs> bone. What's a piece of tin like this doing down here anyway? Ancient legend has it that a dog used to roam these caverns, storing all of his treasures in this vault. Nobody knows why he did it, and it's never been opened since. Well, if you don't mind that. Quick, Edison, we've got to get this opened. Get a little closer to that dial so we... To open the bone vault, you have to use your math and spelling skills. Oh, yeah. An equation or a word with missing vowels will appear in that section. Mm hmm Numbers or letters... So that's pot. Great job! Like pee or get off the pot from the earlier game. Hmm. You opened another lock. See, so they're building a mystery. They want me to, you know, find out what's in here. Because ne now I'm invested in, in discovering the, the secret of the bone vault. Boy, you... You opened another lock. Hell yeah. Learning you how to be a criminal. Fuck yeah. Now we have to wait for the eight. Al Capone, Cabone, you got another Cabone one. Vault, chat, Cabone Vault. You got another one. Oven window. Just one more lock to go. Fix. You opened another lock. Fuck. You did it. You opened the Bone Vault. Edison, 
Inspect and secure the location. What? Oh, that's just a fancy way of saying, I'm chicken, you go first. Moments Step like this, aside. I wish I had a xylophone ready. So, this is the Bourne Vault. Awful creepy, isn't it? But I mean, well, there were millions on. of dead things. Click on whatever you want. Looks like there are a... That looks three pounds. Some things you can weigh. A football. That I looks three it. pounds. A brick. Hmm. Oh! Bats, bats four pounds. That looks like a household hammer. How do I... Three pounds. A brick. To start, just click. I'm an explorer. Click on me if you already know the ropes. I'm an explorer. Click on me if you already know the ropes. Bootleg Kermit Fozzy. To start, just click on the dial. The elevator can take us on all kinds. The log ride. We're off on our adventure. <laughs> oh, it's this one again? Did really? Did I do this Just twice? Just click on one of those floors. Ice cave. The ice cave. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, that was a little smoke on the water. That also reminds me of uh, Iggy Pop, a, a, a Stooges, Stooges song. Creepy bugs come crawling Loose. along the icy ledges and try to get to the cavern floor. Let's get out of here, CJ. The icy wall is shaped like a grid, and the bugs have sticky numbers on them. Use ah, the ice sticky cubes numbers. to add or subtract two numbers to equal the number on the bug. Okay. If we have to stay here, let's make this a little bit easier. Let's give an example. You're right, Edison. Here comes a bug now. It's got the number four on it. The sign says we have to make an addition problem. I'll take this cube here and put it in the left side of the ice wall. Let's see. If that's a one, one plus what equals four? Hurry up, Edison. The bug is coming. That's three, of course. So I'll put my three cube up here. The intersection will equal four Voila! in the book. Mental. It's your turn now. Just click on the start button. It sounds like Final Fantasy VII, like, Remember hurry to watch up music. That square for the Oh, it's a subtraction problem. Oh. I... Chat, I'm brilliant at stuff from, uh, second grade stuff. Uh-oh. Ah! You got the I gotcha. I gotcha. Three plus three. You're a real adventurer. Three plus one. You got another bug. Yeah. Four plus four. Yeah. You got another bug. Two plus two. <laughs> You're a real adventurer. Oh. You got the bug. Oh no. Uh oh. I'll tell you what. I. Uh, oh god. No. Oh shit. I need to go back to preschool. Oh god. 
Is it two minus one? Two minus one equals three. It's it's plus. It's it's not it's not plus. It's 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 plusy. What? It's it's uh, oh god! It's four minus one. You got the bug. I hope hope you don't have the bug because that's bad. Only natural numbers, no integers. That's what I'm saying, chat member. Like, why, why won't it let me do integers? You, you like, look at, look at all this math that I'm trying to do and accomplish. And you see, you see the math and the potential of said math, and yet I cannot... I'm not allowed to be myself, really. And that's, that's really what learning is all about. There is chance and un... The football field. Just wanted to do real numbers and, and integer and fake numbers. I learned that in school. Stripes and me never got along. Oh well. It looks like the Jumpstart football team is getting ready to play its cross town. I don't like rival. the Firefly's face. We've got to help them out. Don't want our team to lose now. We've got to do some addition here. As the team completes its plays, we'll have to add up the yardage the players gain to help them move down the field. The cheerleaders are real good at this. They'll show you what to do once we get started. So, are you ready then? Well, let's get... Okay. So, are you ready then? Yeah, Well, go. let's get this show on the road. Blow your whistle. Fair catch at the 15-yard line. The ball is on the 35-yard line. Chat, this might be a little too much for me. I think I'm going to go to the kindergarten nope. one. Try it. Nope. Try it again. What do you mean, nope? I have to... You got it. You got it. Pass completed at the 48-yard line. Oh no, we mm. got a penalty. We'll have to solve this problem in Nope. Try it again. Oh, minus. Uh 528 uh 52 uh, uh uh 3 stop uh 3 two, uh, uh three, no 3 next move move next. You did it. Next. Penalty two, denied. What? The game resumes at the 48 yard line. All right, chat. Uh, I'm gonna go to kindergarten because I'm not. I, I don't. I don't think I, that, that 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 game's a little different. It's unfair go, more than go, anything. Go to school, go to school. So I'm gonna be going through these kind of quick. If you know the if someone said you missed the best stuff, if you know the best stuff, please get in touch. Hi. Click on the door when you're ready to come inside. Vinesauce.email is how you get in touch. And if you know the stuff that is, is going to be interesting, part two will display the interesting things. The best stuff is third grade, says a chat member. Well, let me learn kindergarten first. Type each letter of your name on the keyboard. Click on the doorknob when you're done. Good evening. I'm Mr. Hopsalot, your teacher. Click on anything you see, or click on my ears for a surprise. <laughs> Ready? Let's try a puzzle. Let's learn about colors. Thank you, Rabbit. Find the object that is the color gray. Gray. Spoon three is real. Find the object black. Find the object purple. Yeah, much better game. Find the object that white. 
Find the object that pink. Find the yellow. Find white. Why do they have the words Find below the them? That's just blue. confusing. Like how are brown? How do you want me to not read those things? What if I read tall? Wow! And I click on it. that instead. Yay! It's just confusing, bro. Click on the puzzle to play again. The Red Baron. Good evening. You have to find the missing pieces. Fantastic! <laughs> I, I guess I found them. That was a cool Change noise. Change the picture by clicking on any piece. All right, fellow piglet pinchers, this one's for you. Do you want to save this picture? No. Picture. Oh, it's what? gone. You It's a little sweat froggy and now it's like sweat frog. Red. Dark blue. Black. No. I did it. Just, just a little bit of cocaine underneath the nose, but don't worry about that. That's fine. It's actually more Shrek than Sweat Frog. It's like a Shre picture. Shrek Frog. Good evening. My name is Roquefort, and I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Help me get to the other side by matching the blocks. Click okay. the hands or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Right! Right! We gotta right. hear this motherfucker the entire time. Right! Left! Right. I was enjoying that. Left! Left! Right! Left, left, right. Oh, right. this is nightmare mode. Right. Left. Are we sure left. we didn't have randomly generated music in the early 90s? Right. Left. Yippee, yippee. You did it. Uh, I get cheese. Left. Oh man, left. nightmare left. mode. Double nightmare right. mode. I already said nightmare mode, so this is double nightmare. Left. Yippee, yippee. You did it. Uh, I Someone said this was nightmare mode for the parents. Left. I mean, right. if they had to hear this full volume. Left. Honey, turn that right. down. I'm trying to read. Left. And then, like, it's the yep, volume is yep, down yep, for three yep. minutes, and then it's Good maximum. Evening. A for apple. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> B for B. C for car. D for dog. E for egg. Was that F G for giraffe? Eight I J K M N S O P Q R S S for sport. For soap. <laughs> T W for woodpecker. X Y Z A A for, for anal sphincter. Anal sphincter. <laughs> Listen carefully to the sentence I'm about to say. Then choose the pictures on the chalkboard that go with the sentence. 
click on me to repeat the sentence. Ready? Mom. Clip farming Smile again, are we? Bro, this goofy. entire stream hey. is a clip farm. What did it what did In it say? The bathtub. Mom smiled. Mom. What? Say Mom smiled at a goofy pig. In the bathtub. Ah, uh, I know what was going on in there. Colonel, this is solid hog. A goofy a pig. A goof in the bathtub. Fantastic. Yeah! yeah, this game is very annoying. Holy God. Ready? Mom hugged a weird duck. In a tree. Mom duck in a tree. You what? win. Ma'am. Mom is acting awful weird these days. Ready? My brother smiled at who's, a who's my brother? duck in a tree. Smiled at a smelly duck in a tree. Fantastic. We're collectively getting stupider. Ready? Mom played with a smelly duck. Weird was spelled in a wrong. Tree. Mom, mom played with why? Why are we playing with the smelly duck? A smelly. Wait, wait. A weird. A weird. W i e r d. Huh. A smelly. I thought this was learning. Duck. This try. I mean, we've seen this duck in a tree. They smile at it, then they play with it in a tree. Fantastic. Ready? My sister hugged a hairy dog in an airplane. Good enough. Good evening. Why is this thing naked? My name is Bebop, and I'm a real cool dude. Do you remember the you hamster race I'm a game hamster I played? The people attitude. Hide and seek. That's what I love to do. So click on me, and I'll play it with you. Okay. In case you're wondering just what to do. Good evening. Watch carefully. I'm about to mix up these dolls. Now put the dolls back in the right order from one, three, four, four, four. I told you five, I'm good at video games. Five. Fantastic. Yeah! Just a little penis music. Not, nothing to be excited about. Oh, we have to watch that whole thing. Good evening. A for click on the basket to play. I'll tell you how many plants I need, then you click on a plant to put it in my basket. When you think Euphemism. you have the right number, click on my basket. You'll have to hurry, though. That gopher loves to eat my plants. I need Euphemism. three carrots. Ready, set, go. One, one three. Oh, how about that gameplay? Yo, what are you I doing? I need three carrots. Yo, you got you them, did it. son. That's just the number I need. I need four heads of lettuce. Ready, set, go. One, two, one, four. You did it. That's just the number I need. Wow, you did it. That's everything I need. However... Something new is growing out of the ground. It's chat. I need five yellow sun. Someone Good said evening. cringe ass gopher. This is a plane. And that starts with the letter P. It's almost ASMR. These are skates. And that starts with the letter S. These are. French fries. This is 
a jar. And that starts with the letter J. This is a cap. And that starts with the letter. These are blocks. Good evening. Listen carefully to the... Good evening. Man, kindergarten Let's wasn't this fun in real life. Good evening. Just did shitty circle dances. One, two, three, four. Go, go, go. I've never been on the farm. I wonder if this was someone's favorite song growing up. The monkey song. Play the monkey song, they said. Honey, we've listened to the monkey song 30 times this past week. Play the monkey song or I shit in the dishes. Alright, right, we'll play, we'll play the monkey song. Monkeys hanging from a ring Probably 12 or 13 All doing the funniest thing They climb Someone's definitely going to claim this song on YouTube. Yeah, of course. Dick Lips. This one's much better. Permanent brain damage. Smell the smells when you sneeze. Permanent, 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 permanent brain damage. You can breathe permanent, through it permanent, 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 permanent. Good evening. Today is Sunday, September 11th, 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, I'm Wait, does that mean today is it's double 911 right now? Good evening. Click on the blocks that you want to play with. Watch carefully. I'm about to mix up these blocks. Now put the blocks back in the right order. 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 4 Good that was evening. a stolen Looney Tunes sound, everybody. All right, I think we've learned enough in kindergarten. We've learned a little bit in second grade. It's a little tough. I'm going to go to third grade. I was not crazy about my third grade teacher. My third grade teacher was... was mean. So maybe it's best I redo third grade. I don't know, this kind of looks intimidating. Well, hello. We've been waiting for you. Please sign in. We've got a bit. Please enter and have a seat. Sit up straight. No slouching in this oh, classroom. No. It's mean. Is that gum in your mouth? Oh. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, what is it about third grade? It's like sci-fi. It's it's, it's <laughs> fucking mist. Number one. Okay, this is just sensory overload. Oh. If Professor Sparks had meant for me to fly, he'd have given me wings. But what can I do? This mission is too important. Now, where could it be? Just dropped my soundboard. Uh, my Steam Stream Deck Stream Deck. Startled me. I didn't think anyone would be here. 
Hey, you've got that, uh, the, the, um, transquizzer. Uh, now be careful with that. <laughs> Drop it. The future of the world may depend on that little machine in your hands. That is, if I'm not too late. There's just so little time and so much to do. But wait. Nah. Well, it's worth a try. Listen, I need your help, and if you think you can handle it, you can help me save the world. I am Android XL2, but you can call me Botley. That's what Professor Spark calls me. His daughter Polly calls me... Well, never mind what Polly calls me. The Professor created me as a prototype companion device. You see, he was having such trouble finding sitters for Polly, because she scares them all away, so he invented me. I'm also programmed to be her friend. And believe me, it's tougher than it sounds. I'm not getting to the point, am I? Um, here, uh, let me start from the beginning. Nope. Um. This morning, Polly's father... No, 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 no we're good. One of Oops. I think I made it worse. I thought that exit was like, exit the robot. So intelligent, Hello. third grade has been skipped. Please, please enter and have a seat. Sit up straight. No slouching in this. Someone classroom. said in chat that fucker please launched in and started hand. trauma dumping. Sorry, my mistake. Oh man, is there a way to skip? Oh god. Chat. Oh no. What have I done? If Professor Sparks had meant for me to fly, he'd have given me wings. No. No, 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 no. Well, what could I do? This mission is too important. Oh, now, where fuck. Could it be? How do you speed this up, chat? How do you speed this up? There's a speed up for DOS, right? You startled me. I, didn't I need to increase the cycles. Hey, you Good cycle, that, citizen. Uh, the, the, um, transquizzer. Uh, now be careful with that thing. Don't drop it. The future of the world may depend on that little machine. Oh my right? god. <laughs> oh no, why have I done this? If I'm not too late. There's just so little time and so much to do. But wait. Nah. Well, it's worth a try. Listen, I need your help. And if you think you can handle it, you can help me save the world. I can't increase I the speed. I am Android XL2. But you can call me. Oh, ch That's what oh shit. Calls me. His daughter Polly calls me. Well, never mind what Polly calls me. The professor created me as a prototype companion device. We're going to have to have heard see, this four he times, and that was bad English. I didn't college. learn anything in she kindergarten. Them all away. So in kindergarten. Me. I'm also programmed to be her friend. And believe me, it's tougher than a Kindergarten. Sounds. It's the kindergarten. I'm not getting to the point, am I? Um, here, uh, let me start from the beginning. Oh god, here we go again. This morning, Polly's father, he left for another one of his famous inventor's conventions, and he programmed me to keep an eye on Polly. I'm supposed to keep her out of trouble. With Polly, that's always tough. But today, it was impossible. After coming home from school and madder than I've I'm ever so seen, sorry, chat. Polly locked herself in her father's secret chamber. Now, I really shouldn't tell you this because I've been programmed for secrecy. But this being a world emergency Boop, and this all, best well, one, third grade, best one. The, <laughs> the robot is great. time machine up there, and it really works. Not only that, but Polly sent 25 of the other androids back in time. The whole world is changing. And the Bad Dexter Laboratory. All over. Cars don't exist anymore, and now everyone has to travel by pogo stick. By pogo stick. An orangutan has just been elected president of the United States in a landslide. <laughs> and the Statue of Liberty is now the Statue of Licorice. I thought it was going to be the Statue of Pepperoni. It's all happening so quickly. But with your help, I think we can rescue all the androids and maybe stop the world from getting too weird. Just hand me the Transquizzer. I think it's got all the information we need to get started. Cool. Now New content, tight. finally. Come with me. At least it was, like, kind of entertaining. I, I should have never tried to exit. To be fair, though, I thought exit just meant exit cutscene. 
God, the production values went way the fuck up in between the kindergarten and this one. Production value goes up, viewers go down. Phew. Sorry about the landing. I wasn't programmed to fly. Well, this is it. Home sweet home. Polly should be inside. Fourth and fifth grade are full on murder mysteries. Apparently that was the pipe sound effect. Chat. Um, as I was saying, this is the professor. Polly should be inside. And I just bet she's watching us now. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. Watching that poor dumb robot flying back in time. I couldn't ask for a better way to spend the afternoon. <laughs> in another day, the world will see the dawning of Polly's planet. Whoops, it seems there's someone at the door. Let's take a little peek. Oh, it's only Botley. He knows I don't like to be disturbed when I'm Sorry, working. no no it learning here. Concentration. Okay, let's see what he wants. This might be fun. Oh, Snotly, you're back. I've been looking for you. Snotly. Oh, that's mean. I thought it was like fuckface or something. And you've got the Transquizzer. She knows we need it to save the world. Didn't my father teach you it's rude to tell secrets, Rotley? Well, I suppose he's told you Oh, there's multiple everything. names. <laughs> well, what does he know? Today, when I was at school, the teacher handed us a surprise quiz. I already knew all the answers, and she knew I knew them. So, just to have some fun, I made up my own answer to that dumb old quiz. But instead of laughing like she was supposed to, she gave so much me story. a big fat So zero. much story. I felt faint and short of breath. No one's ever given me a zero before. Well, that's not quite true, Polly. I remember just two weeks ago. Be quiet, Plotly. This is my story. Anyway, after getting my first Plot row ever, Plot I got the most brilliant idea. Instead of settling for a bad grade, I changed history to match my answers. So you sent 25 of your father's robots back in time to change history? How could you do that, Polly? Oh, that was the easy part, since Daddy just invented that handy-dandy time machine upstairs. Everyone should have one. I just marched those robots into the machine, pushed a few buttons, and voila! Unfortunately, there's still one more question. The extra Do you feel question. lucky, punk? It's super hard. That's why I've been looking for you, Nutley. That's Botley. Nutley. And I want nothing to do with your plan, Polly. Nutley Just Hermington. Back. Which is, um... Don't you see? You could destroy like us Pee -wee's all. You could destroy you know? us all. Police, Spotly. If you're so scared, why don't you just bring him back yourself? You've got my transquizzer. Now all you need are the questions on my history quiz. To make it so easy even you can figure it out, I'll leave the disc with the first part of the test on the first floor. That's five questions total. Just plug that disc into the transquizzer. Then figuring out where I sent the robots should be simple. But I'm warning you, if I don't get them all back... Oh, this soon, is Princess Toadstool to in the Mario Brothers show. Question. Oh, uh, by the way, you have to get in the house first. And I've changed the locks. Good luck. Oh my god. Oh, that's From the great. Super Show. How are we going to get into the mountain? Oh, and the bot too? You see, the professor's lock system only opens when you reproduce the chimes you hear. Ring the doorbell to start the chimes. That will start the unlocking mechanism. So how do I do the uh, close encounters? Just listen closely and repeat what you've heard by clicking on the correct door panels. I have to play Simon Says. That's the first bit of gameplay. All right. <laughs> we got to do this how many times? Halfway there. Nice.
Nice work. Two more. Nice work. One more. Here we go. A smart time. Only one more lock to go. A smart. That's it. You open the door. Awful security system. I agree, chat member. Now, be quiet and follow me. First, though, let me put this in a safe place. On second thought, maybe it's safer with you. It's the utility belt that Professor Spark designed for me, and it's quite an achievement. Over there's a button that will take you out of any room in the mountain. The indicator next to it tells you how much energy is left to power the mountain. Now, if you ever need assistance, power the mountain. push on this button, and I'll do what I can oh my to help. God. In the middle of the belt is the inventory. That's where we can store things. Inventory? The Transquizzer, for instance. Professor Spark has set up a lot of games inside the mountain for Polly, me, and the other robots. If you click on this button, you can make some of them harder or easier to play. Finally, this score keeps track of how many invention points we earn. By opening the door, you've already earned a few points. Now, our destiny. I don't. I don't even think I did this all of the these Professor's games. Did I do the Lawnmower Man and Lemmings 3D? Self-sufficient environment. We don't have to leave the mountain for anything. The professor I didn't. Okay, so that's good to know for the future. Activities, so he and Polly wouldn't get bored. I suppose I should give you the two cent tour of the place. Over there is the kitchen. Oh my God! Very Someone, a chat member, just said that this game is really, really long. I'm not surprised. When Polly takes her weekly music lesson there, the whole place clears out. Behind that door are stairs leading to the professor's jumbo Skip. electro generator. If necessary, we might have to go down there to power up. Finally, that stairway leads to the upper floors, filled with the professor's inventions. Please. His most amazing invention, the time machine, Let is at the very top. Maybe later we'll have time to explore, but now we have to stop Polly from making the world too weird. To do that, we need to find that quiz disc. Hey, there it is. Pull out the transquizzer by clicking on the inventory button on the utility belt. Oh. All right, it looks like the disc should be inserted in the slot near the top of the transquizzer. Good morning, Polly. I hope you've studied the quiz <laughs> Colonel, it's me. They have a lot Solid of Polly. Ability, but even geniuses need to study. That's Polly's teacher, Ms. Winkle. At that school on the hill, everything's state-of-the-art. All the quizzes are personalized, programmed, and videotaped by the teacher. Pretty cool, huh? Now, today's quiz is all about inventions and discoveries. Something you should know plenty about, Polly. Oh, but no fair asking your father for help. <laughs> See? Everyone's impressed by the professor. There are 25 questions total, Polly. Five on each of the five discs I've passed out to you and the rest of the class. That's five different levels. So, sit up straight, put on your thinking cap, and select your first Chad, question. Chad, I'm sleeping. Okay, what we should do first is select one of the quiz questions. Just click on any one of the five buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. Since we've got to bring all the robots back, the order doesn't really matter. I'm going to preschool after this. Today we know that the Earth Look, revolves the around what? Hear this question. I People just read once it. once thought the Earth was the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. That's because when they looked up in the sky... The answer the is clearly stars money. stars all appeared to be moving around so the Earth. A nice idea, but appearances can be deceiving. Today we know that the Earth revolves around what? Miss Winkle, as everybody knows, I am the center of the universe. <laughs> Yes, Polly, you're exactly right. The whole world revolves around you. Oh, I see. Heavens, Polly is just too much to bear. She used to think she was the center of the universe. Now she really is. We need to go back in time and straighten this mess out, or life as we know it will change drastically. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. 
Oh uh, yes, more Boy, things to you look know at. I've been programmed to clean up your Please, more exposition. And that includes bringing back my robot pals. I know you won't tell me where they are. And how about a little hint? Well, it just so happens, Sutley, that I realized long ago that Suckly. you would try to mess up my work. So I covered my tracks by hiding clues all over the mountain. Four clues total. You and your friend will have to find and collect them all. And even if you can find them all, which I slightly <laughs> not only she said that you will still have to go to daddy's time machine and figure out where I sent the robot if you expect to beat me. Oh, by the way, you know how daddy feels about amateurs going into the time machine room. It's a very sensitive piece of equipment, you know. You can't so click anything other than exit. Bolts like you can get inside. You'll have to earn a bunch of invention points. A thousand of them should just about do it for starters. Well, Polly, okay. It looks like we have no choice but to play by your rules, as unfair as they are. Just tell us what we need to find for this mission. Relax, Scutley. It won't be so bad. I sent Russian robot Cosmobot to put me in the center of the universe. You can get him back if you find these four clues. A pig, a sundial, a postage stamp, and a dollar bill. But why mess up a good thing? Cosmobot and I never used to get along, but now we're pals. I can't believe Polly reprogrammed them for her selfish purposes. We have to find those clues and get Cosmobot back. Finding the clues should be a Remember 50 minutes ago when I tried to skip device. the cutscene in the beginning and clicked ex exit by accident? Remember that? Polly. Remember how long ago that was? Every nook and cranny of the mountain. Stand back now while this is the door to the professor's concert hall which he usually keeps locked so none of the less musical robots around here pound too hard on the piano. But the door, okay. All sensors indicate that Polly... Bingo! I've sensed a mission clue. I don't care anymore. <laughs> You'll see that as we go up higher in the mountain, the professor's inventions get more secret and bizarre. Here we have the professor's delicate... Frog in a jar. Here. And over there, we Frog have in a jar. shrink a matic an easy way to shed a few robot pounds. That tram there will take us even further up into the mountain. Frog in a jar. Some of the professor's other inventions, including his famous time machine. If you want to go back to the first floor, click on these stairs. Stand back now while I sense the place out. I'm picking up a clue reading in the professor's biosphere. There's also a mission clue in the shrinking machine room. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the professor's biosphere. This. See that glass dome? That's Professor Sparks' biosphere. In it, he can grow anything he wants from any part of the world. It's kind of like a vegetable zoo. I, I'm I'm done, Chad. I can't. I, I'm going. Uh, we're going pre-K. We're just, we're, you know what? Can't do it. Can't do it anymore. That was like a good cycle citizen mixed with bungee. I've regressed to preschool after that. Type in your name on the keypad. This is great. Oh man, this is so cool. There's like Giddy up horses, yeah! Welcome to my carousel. Are you sure you want to change levels? Yeah. Just click on the dots on the cow. Wait for the horse with the right number of dots. Wait for the horse with the right number of dots. This is the correct match. What? Keep up the great work. No, next horse. You just you just have to wait a while. Super job. 
Like, you can't make the thing turn around. You have to wait. I get it now. I get it. Wow, that's that's good. Wow, you solved the puzzle. And oh, look at that. And it's great because now I have like a, a even though the bear is French, it's nice because they're telling me like I'm good and like not just lore dumping about fucking weird like sci-fi trauma. No, it's it's good. This is great. Got some nice songs. Man, preschool is so much fun. This is your pilot Casey speaking. Just click on the arrows Cat pilot. or use your arrow keys on the keyboard to move the plane up and down. Help me out by flying the plane through the cloud with the shape that doesn't belong. Remember to look at the control panel for a hint. Well, that's not a great noise for a plane. Sorry, that's a blue rectangle. Is that not what we're looking for? Chat. That's a blue rectangle, right? The ones that do not match? Oh. Incredible job. Wow, you're doing great. I have another star for you. Chat, it's not 9-11 anymore. Stop. Help me out by flying it's the plane through September the cloud 12th. with a shape that doesn't belong. Remember to look at the control panel for a hint. <laughs> Chad thinks they're, um... ...comedians. Bunch of comedians, they are. Try again. That's a yellow plane. Says the streamer that plays the fart sound effect when people get bored. Incredible work. Good See, now this, this is good start. stuff, though, compared to like just s having people talk at you th and with no skip button this is nice cat pilot is good there's a uh, clowns there there's um all kinds of fun stuff that you can do here and you can skip as much dialogue as you want the game is fun please help me build a toy that looks just like the one in the I can do that you know why I can do that because I nice am not a baby car. it's perfect how about that Why are they so small? Good work. You've earned a star. Can you put together a rope? Wait, I can do this because I am not a baby. That robot looks great. You did a great job. Here's a shiny new star. Wow, what a great job. Four you stars. All four stars and a trip to the park. We got a trip to the park. We unlocked a new weapon. I'm so glad you came to play in the park with me. Can I hear the song again, please? Use your mouse to click on the object you want to place in the when you get enough you stuff, later. you can place it like um, again, your locker in Splatoon when you earn enough um, monies to, to buy stickers and stuff. Time 
<laughs> that wasn't a very long song, but it was good. It was catchy. World's shortest song, Clang Clang Fire Truck Fire Shit. Another little bear climb. Just click to find the matching. I. Hey. You. I. Sorry. You. You. It's a match. Thanks for playing. Stop by and visit the station again. Wow. I just I don't know. I mean, I've learned so much already. What what more could we learn? Great music. Hey, kids. Lunch is on at Keisha's Diner, and I'll need some help behind the counter today. Just listen to my instructions, and remember, no snacking. <coughs> help me put the french fries in order from less to more. It's not as good as that one from first grade where you have to, like, set the slop. For the, the, the kids you to eat. Them in the right order. Like, that was really good. Make sure the toast is in the right order, from light to dark. H who's eating this toast, is what I want to know. And why am I grabbing these plates with a drumstick? That's the right order. Great job. All right, hey, if you like toast... Please put the pie plate in order like, from more you know what? to less. Depends on the thing. Sometimes I like toast a little, little burnt-ish. Not full burnt, but burnt-ish. That's also one of my many names, as you know. Burnt-ish. That's the right order. Great job. Arrange the sodas from dark to light. Eh. Thanks so much for helping me out. Don't forget to visit again real soon. Chat, I've had this slide whistle for like 10 years. I've never heard it make that noise like that. We're on our way to the clothes store. Just I I'm sorry if I woke you up or destroyed your ears. I had no idea it would make that sound. Explore this screen and find the hidden surprises. store. I'm definitely <coughs> going to need your help today, so listen to my... Make a letter by... Remember, if you want... That's just Could a V. Could you help me make the letter W as in the... <coughs> Almost. I did it. Good work. You've earned a star. Someone said this game is Click full of illegal child labor. I don't want to print that, no. Now this maybe is a little bit... Wait a minute. Hang on a second. So wait, there was an airplane and now there's a queen? Queen. 
What letter is this, by the way? I like this design. This is a great letter. This is just a QU. So you, you only need one letter. This game invented a, a more convenient letter, which is a QU. So instead of it being Q-U-E-E-N, it would just be the Q-U-E-E-N. The Q-U. Good work. You've earned a star. Click anywhere to start a new game. Help me make the letter S. As in the word sun. Okay. Does your hair keep growing? It Various animals sitting atop bongs. Just click on the shape above the animal's head that matches the shape in the shape. You're can I hear that quack noise again? Bark. That was a weird quack. Bark. That, that sounded like a a robot quack. Quack. Mary had a little lamb. Quack. Bark. Bark. Quack. 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 Bark. 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 Quack. Ooh, ooh. Quack. Bark. Bark. Quack. 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 Bark. Bark. Quack. Bark. You did a great job. Well, now I know why it sounds weird. Just click on the shape. Barf quack, barf quack, barf quack, quack. Barf quack, quack. Quack. Bark. Are you sure you want? Yeah, let's let's see the harder difficulty. We can do this. Just click on the number above the animal's head. The the Oink. Oink. What song will this be, chat? This is gonna be a good one, isn't it? Get out of here. Ah, oh, there's an insect. Kill it. Muffin man. Oink. Oink. The quack bark. Bark. I'm pretty sure that was lice. Wow, you're doing great. I have another star for you. You did a great. I don't. I don't know what song that was. That was just strange robotic animal music. I guess. No, I'll see you again. Well, bulldozer digging a hole in the ground. There's a building going up in our town. Welcome to our construction site. I could really use some help loading up my trucks today, so put on your hard hat and let's get started. <laughs> the truck before it disappears into the tunnel. Just fill up the truck with the same objects that are shown on the... Yeah, I mean, this is, again, oh, really, really cheap labor. Cheap to free? Is that a naked... Was that a naked dude in there? Chat, there's a... 
I have another star for you. Oh, it was like a mole or a pig? Just fill up. Click anywhere Captain, to I seem to have found my worst nightmare Way in video game form. Well, uh, I'm good. I think I'm good on this you one really too. Help me out today. Thank you. Remember to stop by anytime. <laughs> Babby Park. Oh, that's where this stuff is. When the bye, bye. I know I'll see you again. I mean, jokes aside, this is. You know, this is good stuff for kids. I would have played this if I had to, uh, if I had to. <laughs> wow. That poor pig is getting poisoned. Taco Bell comes out of you like green colors. Some of them even look like you. Families come in different sizes. And families. <laughs> you will be subjected. You will be subjected to this game. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We also have Jumpstart Babby, Toddler, and 4th and 5th grade, which are apparently murder mysteries. So 3rd grade is just intolerable. It's The production value is shockingly good, but I cannot do it. So um, how, how does a baby play this game? Vinny, you barely played it. I was in there for what felt like 25 minutes. At least with these other ones, I, I was able to like press buttons and answer quizzes and, and show how Chad how smart I am. Say hello to the sun. It's time to have a little fun. What a happy way! Nah. This is my mobile. There are wonderful games to go to from here. See the picture black and white? I know a way to make it bright. We can color <laughs> in each one. Come on, I don't know how I feel fun. about the bear having like this many frames of animation. <laughs> But yeah, this is like I, I guess always have fun coloring pictures. Just give the baby the now mouse. We can color together. Press any key to start. It literally is mash keyboard. Some chat member was saying that the baby game is just going to be mash keyboard. Yes it is. Can you tell me what these are? Bongo. Two drums. Oh. Let's watch these drums play. What shall we <laughs> Lots of stars that we can see. Unskippable songs. I wonder what they could be. A butterfly or a bumblebee. Oh, connect the stars. 
Again, you're not putting a, a, like a computer mouse in a baby's hand. I just don't think that's going to work. So the only way you could get this to work is... A line will connect the stars until you like, make a picture. Like, have parents... Have parents play? Or just, like, put the baby on the keyboard and smash. And that's really it. And that's all you need to do is just have... Just, just smash the keyboard like this. Hooray! And that's it. You won. You I like this game. I, I like this a lot, actually. What do you think this is? That's stars. It's a kite. Fuck. Let's play. It's a Pikachu. Game. A few of my funny furry friends playing the music. What? Oh. They make some marvelous music. I see. Come on. Oh. Hi there. This is my band, and we're going to play some of your favorite rhymes. Just press any key to hear an instrument. Here is Sing Here a Song go. of Sixpence. Let's hear Benjo play the piccolo. Let's hear the trumpet. Now the violin. Last of all, the drums. Now, sing along to Sing a Song of Sixpence. Sing a song of sixpence. Pence a pocket full of rice Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie When the pie was open, the birds began to sing Wasn't that a dainty dish just set before the king? We made music together! We sure Let's did. play another rhyme. Nope. So anyway, those are the Jumpstart games. Here, Here's what I will say. Um, if I missed anything that you grew up with and you think is very entertaining or whatever, I doubt it's ever going to be as entertaining as that um, eat the slop clip. Doesn't matter. This is um, my intent is to unlock memories. So if you have anything that I missed, you can uh, vinesauce.email and i'll check it out otherwise next time i play this we'll check out um toddler maybe a little bit more of baby <laughs> i can't believe i'm even playing these fourth and fifth grade but i still have lemmings 3d lawnmower man and others that i haven't checked out like mr potato head so yeah so let's jump start i again totally fine games to grow up and play and you know see colors and shapes and also then sometimes answer a math problem which i cannot do but uh yeah objectively for me at least they feel like good ways to um reinforce learning not necessarily teach but maybe to just reinforce with bright colors a little bit <laughs> objectively for me is the worst phrase you could say because that means nothing but anyway i like them but do I? I don't know how people spend this much time cutting out characters from TV shows and putting them in different things. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it just seems like a lot of fucking work. Absolutely unbelievable work. God's work. Vinny, it's automatic now? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure it's automatic with some fine tuning. Is what I would imagine. For the people. <laughs>